James Princip was an English scholar, orientalist and antiquary. He was the founding editor of the Journal of the Asiatic Society of Bengal and is best remembered for deciphering the Kharoshthi and Brahmi scripts of ancient India. He studied, documented and illustrated many aspects of numismatics, metallurgy, meteorology apart from pursuing his career in India as an essay master at the Mint in Banaras. James Princip arrived in Calcutta in 1819 at the age of 20 and joined the service of the East India Company as essay master in the Banaras Mint. He returned to Calcutta in 1830 as the deputy essay master of the mint where H H Wilson was the chief. In 1832 he succeeded Wilson and remained in the post until 1833 when he had to return to England because of his illness. James Princip died on 23rd April 1840 at the age of 41 years. During James Princip's years in the mint he reformed weights and measures introduced a uniform coinage and devised a balance so delicate as to indicate the 3000 part of a grain Princip was indeed a many-sided genius he was an excellent architect as well while at Banaras he completed the mint building according to his own plan and also built a church He was on the committee for municipal improvements and improved the drainage system of the city by constructing a tunnel. He also built a bridge over the Karmansa and restored the mosque of Aurangzeb. Princip is justifiably famous as the antiquarian who gave Indian archaeology a new life. For years to come, Indian archaeology followed the pattern of research set by him in all its branches, but particularly in numismatics and epigraphy. In a few years of thrilling excitement and incredible industry, Princip, aided by others in India and Europe, made perhaps more discoveries in Indian archaeology than were made in the whole half century before. Princip who had earlier helped his chief in the mint dr h h wilson also then secretary of the asiatic society with the classification and engraving of coins kept up his interest in ancient coins he succeeded to the secretaryship of the asiatic society on wilson's return to england and started his own journal in 1832 the journal of the asiatic society of bengal princip At once appealed to all those officers who had opportunities of forming collections in the upper provinces for more coins and inscriptions. He was endowed with the rare capacity of instilling some of his own enthusiasm and order into others. Princip's appeal was enormously successful. He was in no time flooded with coins and inscriptions materials which changed the very trend of the Indian antiquarian researches appropriately for the essay master of the calcutta mint coins always remained princip's first interest he interpreted bactrian and kushan coins also all the indigenous indian series including the panchmarked ones indeed the term was coined by princip himself the series of the autonomous republics the gupta series and so on it was princip who propounded the theory of the descent of gupta coins from the kushana prototypes and this discussion also brought him to the question of the different stages in the technique of coin manufacture in india he recognized the three stages represented by the punched marked the die struck and the cast coins but the crowning achievement of all his labors over the decade was the decipherment of the brahmi script and the consequent clearing up of many of the mysteries of ancient indian history thus more than 40 years after 1788 sir william johnson's hope was realized when princip was able to produce the key to unlock all the remaining secrets of the brahmi script however it is only fair to remember that much of the brahmi script had already been deciphered before the final achievement of princip 
Princip followed clues provided by others regarding the decipherment of Kharoshti and after some mistaken readings, he was finally able, before his departure, to find the values of 19 single letters and one compound of Kharoshti as well. It may also be mentioned that the idea of the corpus inscriptionum indicarum also goes back to the time of Princip and to his idea. Princip literally worked himself to death. Seriously ill as he became, he had to leave unexpectedly in the midst of his labours and hence much of his work remained unfinished. As the new editor of the Journal of the Asiatic Society of Bengal commented, Collectors in all parts of India were in the habit of submitting to his inspection whatever they lighted upon as unusual and sought his reading and interpretation. But the study and exertions required were too severe for the climate of India and the editor's robust constitution sank at last under the incessant labour. Yet, before taking leave, he had managed to set forth the main lines of Indian archaeological research for at least the next 50 years. If you want to know about any other topic, please leave it in the comment box so that I can come back with it. Thank you.